myself gunashekaran and i am a director of delhi no food waste organization india is a fast growing country but still in india there's a lot of people dying hunger 15% of india's population is undernourished startups are helping to address this issue by developing phone apps that connect excess food to people who need it most at a scale and efficiency not possible before for the people at no food waste it is a moral duty our mission is to be a hunger free country nowadays everyone using a mobile phones so through the phones i create awareness before wasting the food in delhi we uh, till now we come 10000 people we just donate the food and in outside the states we totally covered more than a million i can say the concept is simple no food waste collects surplus food from weddings parties restaurants and colleges it is then redistributed at pre-designated hunger spots to those most at risk of hunger such as the homeless poor and elderly Satish Ambaraj has been donating excess food from his restaurant in Central Delhi and has helped feed 50 people a week since 2016. Yeah, actually, I run a catering. Uh, lots of food have been uh, wasting by the team, so I decided to join with uh, No Waste Food Organization. Yeah, it feels uh, good because we are helping the poor people, so it feels very good. I like to become a chef because I like to cook food, and it feels really good uh, when people are eating my food. Almost as important as the donors, volunteers help deliver and distribute the food. Volunteers like VJ, an engineering student. I have a food, but why they don't have a food? I want to give a food to them. For example, uh, when we are going to give a food to uh, some people, they will like uh, they will really excited, and uh, we also excited for them. Without the ability to refrigerate or store the donations, the food can't travel far in Delhi's midday heat. Now it is a race against the clock to get the meal to the closest hunger spot. It is here, in an ashram in central Delhi, that spicy rice, which would have otherwise gone to waste, will be served for lunch. The facility shelters retirees and sometimes members of their families. India has the second highest population of elderly people in the world, but many live below the poverty line. Today, these elderly residents enjoyed a nutritious meal, but there are others in need, and thanks to this kind of initiative, there is a greater chance they will get food tomorrow. For me, equality is very important to everyone. Every day I'm getting a food and drink for me. I wish to my fellow citizens also getting the same thing. So here nobody is uh, big and nobody is small. Everyone is equal.